Mustang host to Warner Pacific for their very first February home opener in the program's history. Pick this one up in the top of the six. Carroll up three to one, but Devine Amasquita has other ideas. Cranks one to right field. Carroll unable to corral the ball. Bit of confusion on the base paths. The throw going to be late. And the Knights make it three to two. Few batters later, Emma Foster with an opportunity to bring another run across. Does that with a perfect sack fly. We're knotted at three. Top of the eighth now in extras for Carroll's home opener. And Warner with a runner across already. And Amasquita with another chance to bring another run across. And a sack fly equates to another run. Knights lead five to three, headed to the bottom. Carroll showing a little bit of life. Down by two, Amber Brewer hits a screamer up the middle to get a runner on, but nothing doing for the Fighting Saints as Allie Williams gets in front of a breaking ball for a pop-up that is caught to seal the deal. The Saints fall in game one of the doubleheader five to three and in game two they were able to even the score they pick up a win two to one tomorrow afternoon the Carroll College Fighting Saints will have an opportunity to even their record at three and three in game three against the Knights first pitch of that game is set for 11 o'clock.